Hey there, welcome back to News at 4. Meteorologist Julia Quady. We've been seeing here in the forecast for us this afternoon a mixture of some showers, maybe a little bit of some thunderstorms passing through as well. And we're going to continue to see those conditions as we go throughout the rest of this afternoon, but start to see a little bit of a tapering off with that shower activity as we look ahead towards the evening hours for tonight. I have more details about that. We're along on the forecast right now, taking a look at our CCAC Whataburger Sky Cam over Whataburger Field. We can see a little bit of that blue sky hinting behind all that cloud cover that we've been seeing for us here this afternoon. Also seeing a bit of a pause of that shower activity here in downtown Corpus Christi too. We did see our fair share of that shower activity earlier this afternoon, but again, those showers at first during earlier this afternoon, we're seeing mostly impact our coastal neighborhoods and communities. Now that shower activity is now starting to push further inland. So areas that we're seeing here now on a Doppler radar that start to see a little bit more shower activity includes areas like Mathis as well as Kingsville, parts of Falfurias and Hebronville. You guys are starting to see some more heavier downpours now at the four o'clock hour compared to our coastal neighborhoods. They're now starting to see a little bit more of a break from the activity now. Now in terms of our temperatures, we're going to see them continue to be below average and on that cooler side, thanks to all that shower activity that we now have in the forecast. So all across the area, we're seeing our temperatures only making it uh, into the 80s for the most part here in Corpus Christi currently sitting at 82 degrees, 83 in Robstown as well as Kingsville, 79 on over in Mathis. Of course, we see even cooler temperatures attributed to the areas that are currently having the more heavier downpours right now at this moment. So Hebronville, you guys are having a bit of heavier shower activity right now. So you guys are seeing your temperature at 77 degrees. But again, coastal communities having a bit of a more of a break. So our temperatures are now starting to increase a bit going up into the upper 80s in some locations this afternoon. Now again, we're going to continue to see that shower activity remain to be active for us for tonight, but start to tamper down a little bit as we head to around 7, 10 o'clock this evening. And then similar to what we saw earlier this morning, tomorrow morning, we'll start to see a bit of an increase in our shower activity and more of those scattered showers and thunderstorms passing through early tomorrow morning on your Friday. So expect potentially another wet and rainy commute ahead for your Friday and then a more of a ramp up of that shower activity by the time we get into the afternoon hours on your Friday as well. And again, we're going to continue with that trend of seeing those scattered showers in the forecast even as we approach this weekend. Starting to see our rain chances start to diminish just a little bit as we look ahead to your Saturday. But again, still a decent chance to have some isolated showers in the forecast on Saturday. Then as we look ahead to your Sunday and early next week, then our rain chances will truly be diminished, having some more sunshine and more hot and humid conditions returning back to the coastal bend at that point. Now in terms of uh, rainfall accumulations, from all this rainfall that we're seeing that began yesterday and has continued today and until potentially your Saturday. We're talking about maybe around a half an inch, maybe an inch in rainfall totals for us from this rain event that we're all experiencing here in the coastal bend. So beneficial rainfall for us. This is good, even though again, just a half an inch in some locations it probably seems like maybe just a drop in a bucket, but every bit of the inches of rainfall that we see from this rain event still definitely does help us here in the coastal bend and give you a quick tropical update. I know we just uh, got over barrel not too long ago. I th think we're probably very thankful to have a bit of a quiet tropical period right now for the time being, but we do have this new tropical disturbance that's now nearby the southeastern United States at this point only has a low 10% chance for development. So also just where it is location wise doesn't give it really any of a chance for formation. So just going to be an area of low pressure that's going to mostly just cause a lot of heavy downpours right now for the state of Florida. But for us here at home, just looking at some more rainfall for the next few days before we dry and clear out as we look ahead to next week.